November 8th, Fairfax County voters voted no, 54 to 46 percent, on the controversial meals tax referendum. This decision will cause an immediate and significant impact to FCPS, like McLean High School. Uh, the meals tax was a proposed 4 percent tax on meals in Fairfax County that would go to um, helping out teacher salaries, it would go to um, other public works like uh, firefighters and um, different things that would help out the community. Students here at McLean have different views on the decision. Some are for and some are against the proposed tax. I am against the meals tax because I personally ordered a lot of pizza. I like eating pizza. It's one of my favorite foods and so oh, that on, in addition to just being in restaurants, it also ta the meals tax also taxes the takeouts and stuff like that. And so it may be going to schools, but I want my pizza to be, be as minimal cost as possible so I can have as much of it as I want. It wouldn't really cost us that much to just pay a little bit more when we get like food or whatever, but then it could make a big difference and have us keep some really good teachers. I think that restaurants were against it because they didn't want to detract sales or um, discourage customers from coming in. Uh, but I think that that's a common misconception uh, because it was a very, it would have been a very small tax, a small increase on a bill. For example, a $50 bill uh, would have been only about a $2 increase on the total. Uh, so I don't really, I don't see how it would have uh, affected the businesses. Because everybody's greedy and no one wants to give up any money at all, even if it's for a community investment. So. Uh, it's mostly short-sightedness and uh, sort of knee-jerk politics where they go, you know, I don't want to pay no taxes. Uh, it, that's an easy stance to take. That's because I think there was a lot of misunderstanding. Uh, I don't think a lot of people were educated on how important it would be to schools, how important it would be to Fairfax County, how important it would be to retaining the teachers that they have in Fairfax County now. Um, and I think that's been really detrimental. Danny Abinajim, a local business owner and McLean parent, shared his stance on the meals tax with us. We were neutral on the meals tax. Didn't feel, it, it's a bit political and didn't feel to bring that, wanted, I wanted to bring that to the restaurant. Um, on one hand, um, I felt it may affect business a little bit, uh, but not much since all the surrounding counties and DC have a meals tax already. So. Fairfax residents would have to go really far to escape a meal tax. So in a way, it really may not have been much of a burden on, on the restaurant. And, and, and on the plus side, on the positive side as well, um, you know, our business comes from Fairfax County residents for the most part. They're the ones who support us. So um, uh, it is, you know, a way of giving back. Uh, but again, we were neutral on it. We didn't, you know, we usually when there's something political, we don't get, we, we, we go that way. A science teacher for 20 plus years at McLean High School, Dean Howarth, believes this monumental decision could have some serious consequences on the area. Well, it would have made the school system, which I have dedicated 30 years of my life to, actually sustainable. So, uh, it's a, a sincere concern that the Fairfax County Public Schools that I came to work for many years ago is pushing itself to what I worry is an inexorable decline. It really makes me second guess being a teacher in Fairfax County. Um, I would have really counted on, or I really counted on, you know, those step increases and with a step increase, that includes a salary boost, a salary increase, and living in Fairfax County and living in such an affluent area, cost of living is really high. And so, when you can't count on, um, you can't count on making enough money to live, then you have to start thinking about other options. Will they cut back on services? Uh, they probably should, but uh, those are the kinds of things that. Uh, very few people have the guts to do because if you do something like cut ban programs, people freak out. Uh, and but they, no one ever freaked out in favor of raising the funds to keep them there. I uh, think a little bit down the road, and you realize that well, you know what? No one's going to want to come to my restaurants 
if they're in a place where nobody wants to live. And why do a lot of people want to live in Fairfax County? Standard living's high, and part of that is how good the schools are. For WMHS News, this is Maddie MacArthur, Natalie Cole, and Nick Monroy.